All right, happy, happy birthday, Sagittarius's. I'm lighting your candle for your birthdays. Uh, for you guys' birthday, I chose Firecracker Pop, Bath and Body Works. Maybe you'll get new candles. Uh, this is your first uh, birthday message of the actual unboxing and unveiling. Um, if you want to check the description box, I'll try and link in all your birthday messages together. Maybe there's fireworks. Maybe you're dealing with also, you know, a Capricorn. <laughs> or, I mean, you could definitely have that in your chart. But um, a lot of Capricorn really popping. Also saw Aquarius this time as well. 124, 125, I feel like. And maybe Taurus. But, um, so, take it how it resonates, guys, as well. And these ones were just kind of unveiling um, what's going to be for your... December monthly messages. So of course I use some some December babies as well as the January. Um, no, why am I saying that? November. Oh my goodness, guys! I saw one five again. So Capricorn. <laughs> um, but I also saw fifty five. So I feel like someone's turning fifty five. Maybe a Capricorn is. I don't know or something like that. Uh, this also is bringing in. Um, and then the Aquarius energy. But I think of like the 4th of July or like New Year's Eve as well with the firecrackers. Maybe there's something about that. <laughs> um, and pop versus soda. What? A, I don't know why this is in my head all of a sudden. Red, white, and blue, your colors or something. The candle's a beautiful blue color. So in this very first one, we're going to jump into number one, the Lord of the Rings. Okay, I'm going to unveil that. We're going to kind of review it as they always start. We're going to start with that full energy. So there's definitely Aries energy, uh, Sagittarius, with this new journey. <laughs> um, we just completed, or I just completed, uh, the Labyrinth, through the Labyrinth, Um all of the different pick a characters so and it was so spotlighted so if you haven't checked that out and picked your character maybe there's something as well there for you um because it's so like the sun is shining so brightly so i'm getting all fire energies i'm getting a little bit of leo too it almost made me bummed that i was like and the dreams i was like oh my 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 setup for that November and October monthly is like the lighting is perfect, but that's okay. This is the new setup um, for this month. Well, uh, it is, of course, November as I'm doing this, So, but for the December as well. So the shift into your birthday season, Sagittarius, is 1122. Today is 1121 as I'm doing this first video. Uh, in, in the first, in your very first video, I unveiled all the different oracles and tarots that I'm going to be opening up and you can, and also your mini, your mini brands were the sneakers and the hats and the brands. So the first one is if you were drawn into Airwalk, right? The Airwalk brand, the skateboarding brand, even, um, Airwalk classics, this t-shirt and a red hat. Um, and then I'm going to also get some loving messages, 53. So, so many different energies come through, but I have to say there's lots of Capricorn. I saw 113 as well. I already shared that in the first video, all the other Capricorn signs. So maybe you have a lot of different Capricorns in your life. The caps, I don't know. So the hat, the caps. So Airwalk and the t-shirt and the red hat is what was spotlighted first. I give these to my kids afterwards, right? They love it. That's why it, it's a win-win for all of us. Um, I mean, for all of us, they were what kind of inspired me to even do uh, these type of pick-a-card messages with the little uh, mini brand items throughout this whole year. We're at the end of the year. Um, and happy birthday. Uh, and you've made it a whole nother. So what is this considered? A solar return uh, whenever you're getting this. Okay, so I'm going to open these and I'm going to cleanse them after for uh, for your message, okay? So first and foremost, let's open up. I should have, I didn't take the plastic off any of these, so I'll do it quickly. This was easy. So the Lord of the Rings, uh, like I said, really, we're going to pull an Aries energy with this because it's the beginning of it. Nothing, you know, a new journey. We finished one, completed the journey. It was so beautiful how it actually totally completed um, 
of course, there was that Scorpio energy, that completion. Today as I'm doing it, we're right on that cusp energy. Okay, so you could definitely have that in your chart as well. Um, but then this is also Libra energy. Um, I already said this was Th Thomas again. We have a lot of Tom and Thomas. No, it's actually Tomas or Thomas, not Tom. Okay. Um, and then Casey Gilly is written by, okay, so this is similar. I'm going to open it up. I should double check the camera. Make sure you guys can actually see it. Lord of the Rings. And then we're getting some loving messages from Oracle from Shesh. Shishui? I think that one. Oh, okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. The Lord of the Rings. I got to make sure I'm paying attention. Oh, this is going to be an interesting one. Oh, this is like the Beetlejuice. Okay, I did open up Beetlejuice. Oh, Sagittarius is. I actually received that one from a Sagittarius for my birthday was the Beetlejuice. So, and maybe if you guys are into Oracle and Tarot, these are something maybe also you'll get or uh, ideas, you know, for what you want. You've been watching the movie. So this is going to be interesting how it opens it up. It looks like the worm. This reminds me of the Beetlejuice one. That's what it reminds me of. I only did one quick section with Beetlejuice totally for Halloween. Okay, so maybe there's something spotlighted there for you guys. Um, Sagittarius with the Beetlejuice one. Um, I'm trying to think of how I set that up. But I literally did it, I think, on the 30th and 31st. And, oh, I went all the way to the Day of the Dead, November 2nd. Okay, so, but I, I tried to give... Basically, I think all signs a message with that those that that deck of cards for that time. But that's what I'm thinking of. This is reminding me of that. So if you are new to this channel, welcome. Thank you. All my new subscribers as well and old ones. Um, wow. Wow. Okay, so this is how it's going to read. Clearly, the major arcana is Frodo, the fool, of course, we know. He's the fool. Welcome to the road. Okay. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to set it here. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to go paint a little bit later. I haven't painted for a while and it's nice. But so here's the box. We're checking it out. Oh, I actually have it up in reverse. So the fool is afraid, doesn't want a new beginning. Like, oh, he's like, oh, I don't want to go on this journey. I, I kind of don't want a new beginning here. Let's just stay where we were. <laughs> All right. Okay. I, I see where it's splitting. Four of swords. Okay. I can see maybe someone's tired. Maybe you still need to do some resting or something after this last journey you just did, right? Or this last adventure. I'm seeing once you've done some healing or some resting, then um, maybe 40. Some of you are turning 40 or um, on the 4th of the month, you'll be ready for this new adventure. <laughs> okay, what is this one? This is the 8. It looks like 8 of Wands to me. You know, I heard someone say that this made them, the Eight of Wands was their card. I see 84 there. So someone could be born in 84. You're dealing with Leo energy, 842. But um, communication, someone just saying, hey, I'm too tired to go on this journey, this adventure. Wow. Okay. That was actually really coming through for some of you guys for your, uh, well, with the pick a card messages in the labyrinth. So it really depends on where you're at. And I mean, it's a time of resting, enjoying. Uh, maybe you receive something to go on vacation or take a big trip or something, but you need to make sure that you are fully rested. Um, I'm seeing someone coming in to see you, though, or you to them. I mean, it's your birthday season. So a lot of communication coming through. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. How are you? Da, 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 da. And maybe someone is like trying to sleep or ignore it. <laughs> Oh, oh, this could be eight of swords. I, okay, this is going to be interesting, guys. So please keep in mind, this is a new deck. I'm going to tell you the dark crystal one. Man, I opened that for Scorpios and that one took me for a loop. So um, deciphering and understanding with all those crystals, all the stones versus gems. 
I, I was messing it up right and left. So you guys kind of the guinea pigs here with this, okay? Okay, Sagittarius, is, you are the first unveiling of it. And sometimes I make errors along the way. I am human, but I recognize it and I'll, you know, uh, make sure that I get it as accurate as I can. So we start with the Fool as always. Let me set the box off to the side. I'm going to give it a good shuffle. I was going to... Oh, these have a really nice flow. They're not too stiff. Okay. That feels pretty good for the first shuffle. Um, I am going to light some Palo Santos as well and do a little cleansing. But first, I'm going to break up the energy of this deck and give it a good shuffle. Everything... This is feeling really flexible. So just remember that, like... Every, you know, maybe you need to do some stretching <laughs> and get more flexible, okay? I don't know. But it feels really nice. This has a good flow. I'm going to do one more good shuffle for the Sagittarius for their birthday messages, okay? And then we'll, let's see what's underneath the deck. Oh, it's split right there. Ten of Cups. Oh, my gosh. See, look at all this love coming in. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Love, 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 love support and love king of wands oh king of wands i could be you sag okay if you're the masculine energy or it's another a fire sign aries because a leo even i was sent in all that this could be someone who's a big supporter the king of wands comes off very very actually very attractive right very attractive charismatic go giver go giver something okay a go getter so whether this is how you're feeling, you have a lot of love and a lot of support, or this person has a lot of love and support. They could be from your family. This is also friends, soul tribe, feeling lots of love. This is good. Happy birthday, 1204, 1205, Sagittarius. Oh my gosh, I, I just want to leave it at that. Like, I don't even want to mess with it. I see King of Cups upright too. Okay, more love, more compassion, all this masculine energy coming in. So this represents, you know, water, sign energies, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpionic, whatever. This, these, these people are lovers of yours, supporters. And when I say love, it can be, there's lots of different energies of love. You have, you know, agape love, brotherly love, platonic love, sisterly love, um, friends. But there's a lot of love and support. You're being celebrated for sure, for sure. Let's bring the camera down. So it's a little sideways, but that's okay for now. Wow. Like, I don't even want to mess with it, dude. <laughs> um, Because this is how you should feel on your birthday. Don't you think? Feeling a lot of love and a lot of support. Wow. Uh, compassion, action. So... This is even how they could see you or you see this person even, all right? Like, uh, we have lots of masculine energy, but loving, compassionate, um, active, charismatic, attractive. Love, I mean, wow. So you're very highly thought of, very loved. Um, and if you're a feminine, then these masculines love you very much <laughs> or vice versa. You could be taking on a masculine energy. I just see these as people and maybe we'll look into a little bit of the future, a little deeper into them. Okay. Now take a heart resonates guys. I am also going to be opening up loving message cards with meanings 53. So this is, could even be someone turning that age or, you know, a 53, a Taurus energy, um, let's go with that. These are just going to be your first quick messages. Happy birthday. Um, the Lord of the Rings. Cheers. You're being celebrated. Fireworks and shit. <laughs> this is great. Okay. This one is by, I just see it says me in China, but I don't know if this is she Shui or not. Or, let's see. Um... No, it's that name. I don't know how to say it. X S Y L O. La, la, la. I'm all X S Y L O. 
Uh, I saw some of you, well, I don't know. I saw 62, so maybe some people are turning 62 or um, Gemini 62 even. I mean, I, I don't see your opposite in here right now, but that's okay. Sometimes those opposites, ooh, okay, these are pretty. You guys are getting the first unveiling. Look how pretty the cards are. Oh, let's just take a peek. Abundance, you're getting monies. <laughs> of course you are. Positive mindset, gratitude, blessings, and bliss manifesting. Look at that. See, this is the thing. Everybody's celebrating you. They're sending you money. Maybe you just like you're giving, you know, you're getting just checks in the mail or something, you know, from friends, family, whatever. But your gratitude, you're receiving blessings because that you're a blessing on this earth. You're being celebrated. It's very beautiful. I'm so happy to give you such a wonderful uh, reading. So let's look at all this cash you, you get in here, okay? Everybody everybody needs money for an, for our things, our food, our, our abundance, and you deserve to live a luxurious life, not just uh, to uh, survive, but to thrive, okay? So, and and people also know what comes around and goes around. So I see this as literally, you know really wanting to be generous and kind and do things for you. Positive mindset manifest gratitude and bliss. Wow, those are the love messages. So maybe that your love language is that way or that's their love language is like, hey, I love you. I'm willing to, you know, this isn't about buying love. It's just that's the way some people show it. I mean, that's the same thing. Our birthdays and things like that, we... We think of others and we, we spend gifts on them, not ourselves, you know, because we're thinking of them. And that's some of the beauty of all the different random stuff in this world. Okay. Um, let's see. Passion. Hmm. Insane chemistry, sparks and having fun, equal interest and burning desires. Hmm. I heard the weirdest thing. It was on this movie I watched. And Sag recommended it for me. It's kind of weird though, guys. Okay, I'm just going to be real. It is a movie. <laughs> uh, the, well, it's actually a series. Killing Eve. Uh, I started watching that. <laughs> um, I'm not going to... I'm just warning you, it's it's a really different type of story, okay? There's like a, there's a lot of like same-sex relationship and maybe this is even that. I don't know. Regardless, doesn't really matter. There's love there. I mean, I don't see it as like the lovers like romantic. It doesn't matter. Um, But like Killing Eve had so many different feminines in it. Anyways, the reason I'm spotlighting that is because I heard it on this show. So in, the definition of passion is actually suffering or something like that. And it made me actually think of the passion of the Christ because that's, I was like, oh, maybe that's true. Like, because that show, that, that one, dude, oof. Jim is in that too. And Mel, what's up, Mel? <laughs> Gibson. Anyways. Having equal interest in burning desire sparks and having fun. Insane chemistry. Like, even, like, like hanging out until the candle, like, is all the way down, you know? Is the passion still burning? It's not like, it, it's like you're not, you're not bored. You're finding these people that you have. This is like your soul tribe even, right? Family, friends, uh, neighbors, relatives, um, even just acquaintances that still celebrate you passion let's see we got 20 40 50 60 110 i don't know 100 you're getting like 30 oh underneath there there's an addiction though so these go in alphabetical order oh then I mean, there's addiction to <laughs> uh to money <laughs> Be careful of it becoming obsessive, okay? That's even codependent, possession, control, or emotional block. So even this passion, careful about it becoming obsessive. 
Hmm. Okay. That's interesting. That's what I see as I'm opening them up. I'm going to give them a few good shuffles. A few good shuffles. These are fabulous. Oh, this one stopped. Taking, talking. It looks like they were upside down. How interesting. Talking about different things. Interested, awaiting messages, text calls, emails, and talking more. They want to chat. Okay. Wow. The snake, though. Competition, an enemy, the other woman. Look over your shoulder. Death card. Ooh. This could be a Scorpio person, an other woman. Oh, this is an ex person. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. What's dead is dead. So keep that in mind. These have all these different messages in here. So this person is very interested. You or them, right? There's a lot of chatting, a lot of talking, spending time together. It really feels like you have common interests, things like that. Now, whether you represent this King of Wands or this is another King of Wands in your energy. So I'm also seeing this as potentially as in, you know, the past present future so we could see this as like having a lot of support and a lot of love even in the past a lot of ch chatting common interests waiting <laughs> your more messages and talking more and then this is you know, like in your action energy charismatic doing your thing independent and then even transforming and being loving compassionate and uh, you could have it both you can have anything you like. I'm getting like Johnny Utah. Anything you like. Wow, money. Coffin. Ah, something ended. Mm, new beginning and liberation. Reborn and transition. A tragic ending. Hmm. Maybe you're talking about, okay, for some of you, you could be sharing even about grief or about your beliefs about uh you know spirituality about what happens when we die because you know what actually the beautiful thing is Sagittarius you have this higher your communication the way it's in the zodiac energy is that so you know Gemini is that small talk let's talk about food weather so you're still going to do this too but this is a time when you talk about you know what happens when what do you believe in the afterlife you know, do you believe in reincarnation? You know, do you, uh, you know, maybe you had something uh, tragic happen in your life that was really transformative, right? Lost. We all are going to experience that. And so we're all going to have to figure, you know, that, I mean, I'm trying my best to be, you know, maybe that's the other thing. Ooh, that one giving me a headache. I feel like it was definitely something about their head. I'm, I'm feeling it right in the front right side maybe someone got hit in the head hard or they had a head injury or they had an aneurysm or something like that i don't know the head was damaged that's what i'm getting okay i that's weird okay i please understand i i have scorpio uh mercury so whether sometimes pass on loved ones communicate and come through i don't i don't claim myself as medium or or anything like that but I, if i uh open up and i'm an open channel and it needs to be spoken at I, my messages are different for different people what they need what they need to hear whether it's about worldly affairs and people in their life now or or pass on loved ones or things like that so as soon as I, 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 you know, speak of it and I recognize it, it goes away. So it's not mine. It's not. That's how I also know when it's not my, uh, you know, not, it's not something going on with me. Also, I'm getting a little Aries energy because they are rulers of the head. So maybe it's something like that. I don't know. All right, Sag. Sagittarius. Dude, I always sing that song for you guys. <laughs> Leave me be a little Metallica. It's sanitarium. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. I'm getting one for each. I feel like this one go over here. Oh, this person has addiction. Codependent, obsession, restraint, possession, and control. Emotional block. You may be dealing with somebody. 
who has an addiction or they're codependent upon you. Or you could even be talking about these type of things, right? Hmm. Well, I feel like there's a lot, there's a lot more to dive into with this. Now, keep in mind, this could be another person right now. They're in the up and up. Maybe careful about overindulging. Maybe not having all 10 of those cups at your party. You know, moderation is the key. Yeah. All right. We have sword and rose. <gasps> Clarity and truth. Wow. So the truth, a sword energy is air, air sign quality, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but your Mercury energy and rose. Uh, I'm seeing this as romance, beauty. There's truth with the, this King of Cups being loving, compassionate. So there's some truth being spoken here, even about being upfront, honest about addictions and stuff, obsessions. Okay, emotional blocks. Hmm. Revelations, honor, and protection, determination. Wow, so I'm kind of keeping it like that. I know it's like sideways. Here we go. I don't know why. That's just how I'm sitting on it. This is a different space. I don't have as much like space. <laughs> um, seduction, attraction, teasing, hooking up, a date, third party, or temptation. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, so. With these Ten of Cups, I see this as someone, that's the same thing where they, you do have some similar interests, you, you know, you, you enjoy each other's company, you feel, you feel like you're each other are supportive, you're supportive of each other's beliefs, uh, and things like that is good communication. Even if you have differing thoughts or opinions, these people or you or them are still able to, you know, mm, listen and not go on high defense and, uh, mean you know like you just can tell that they love and support you all right let's look i'm just gonna take a peek under here and then i'm gonna i haven't done the palo santos over here but i did it you know after the last video and i did rose water i just feel weird about not having things like fully cleansed yet but i break it up with my energy too all right so let's see ten of cups Oh, lovely. Getting out of any type of boredom or apathy. King of Swords is up there. Oh, yeah, that's all about the talking. So right now we're, we're talking about the talking. And this is someone who is very supportive, very loving, very analytical. You could come off this way, right? But this is Gen Gemini, um, Aquarius or Libra masculine. All the masculines up chatting loving it blah 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 no like this is good communication that gets you out of feeling any regret there's no no regret um you can tell there's compassion and love even in the even though it's, this can be about you know feeling detached and uh, unemotional and things like that but no look he's like loving on this horse right and um thinking things through logically but there's so much love there and and it's like talking about uh, this is just good so i don't know who this is for you but it'd be good okay this is all about the talking at first okay i'm just gonna set it here i'll probably maybe someone even communicating about overcoming addictions or different things and not being codependent or dealing with certain things like that um no longer feeling like in regret over this. There's compassion. There's love, understanding, clarity. Even if you communicate about some of these things. The hanged man. No way. I was totally wondering who Schmeagol was going to be. And Schmeagol is popping up as the hanged man, Virgo. But this is when he first finds it. Hmm. So someone gets stuck though. Seeing a whole different perspective. I feel like you're going to see a whole new perspective in this person that you didn't realize that you had some same. Maybe there was fear of sharing, you know, maybe this is this is someone who is a supporter, whether it be your family, friend. Um, I don't know if it, I don't see necessarily love interest at this time, but um if it, that's what it is, <laughs> God, I mean, this is the love and love. Um, I'm seeing someone learning a whole new perspective. Twelve ten, 
and 1012 even Libra. This does have Virgo energy. You can have Libra or Virgo on your rising sign. Don't have to. Or even that King of Swords, right? You can come off as Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, or have that on your rising sign. But I'm, oh. Okay, we have the Hierophant in reverse. Oh, and I have the Wedding Rings in reverse. Okay, for some of you, you may have been divorced before. Or you felt like someone broke a, they broke a contract or a commitment or even breaking free of other beliefs. This is releasing different spiritual beliefs. Taurus energy here. Five, four. Four, five. Clarity, truth, honor, protection. Maybe this is somebody that you had once been in a contract with or that they're, this is breaking free. This is a religious energy, but in reverse. I will maybe read a little bit. I'm all like, it's not a book in this one. Hmm. We, I have seven of pentacles. I see 12, five as well. Maybe feeling like somebody broke a contract or commitment or a vow at one point. Or that's the whole, what this communication is, is they, you know, um, maybe they didn't believe. Or this is somebody who doesn't want to be married or that th you're not, or this could be an ex person or they're not into, they're not maybe wanting, maybe you have a different beliefs. I see seven of pentacles, 12, seven and seven, 12. So maybe cancer sign or 12, seven. You know, this is harvest time. This is remembering, it is very, with the Virgo energy, I'm always like, you reap what you sow. Ooh. 10, 11, 12, 13, 7, 13. Getting a, quite a bit of a cancer energy. Maybe you're dealing with them. That seems to spotlight for you guys sometimes. Maybe this is a cancer energy. But I'm also seeing the Scorpio. So it could also be a Scorpio energy. This is even communicating about death, about, hey, you know, this is an emotional block, but it, it doesn't necessarily say, you see, this addiction doesn't talk about drugs or alcohol either. It says codependent, obsession, possession, or control, someone controlling someone. Oh, okay. My precious, like this is where he finds the ring. Someone found someone's ring even. This is reap what you sow. This is harvest time. Hmm. Oh, they found their ring. Uh, someone found a ring. They, okay, I see death. Okay, wow. This is an ending, you know, the volcano transformation. And then you have the star in reverse. Whoa. I didn't know we were going to go there with this. Okay. Birthday. Okay, I have something to share, Sagittarius. Because the cancer sign's popping out. Or anything. Maybe someone's communicating about, with, about somebody who did have addictions that died, okay? Or there was an ending to this. That, or, or this literally could have been an end of a codependent relationship or a very possessive one. Um, I'm seeing communicating maybe even about death, about a Scorpio, about an ending, about this addiction. For some of you, it's an ending of like a relationship as well because the higher fun reverse could also be, you know, a divorce. Uh, and I, I see also like this person does not feel, they're not shining bright anymore. I feel like they broke a commitment, they broke a law or a vow or you've, or this is also your beliefs didn't line up anymore. The Aquarius energy, or maybe it's an Aquarius person you're talking about. Or Taurus. I'm getting Taurus or Aquarius. Um, 10, 15, 16, 5, 17. Or that Cancer sign energy. So the other thing that I'm getting is like, for me personally, I have, so I have a grandfather who I never met though that passed before I was born. But then my my first child was born on his death day. And so 
for my mother because she was grieving a lot during that time, even when she was like pregnant with me and, and all. for her, especially. So the grandparent, um, that birth was like, mm, it helped to change the situation. Like instead of it being such a dreary time, a dreary anniversary, you know, that uh, now something new came from. So beautiful when you understand the scorpionic energy and the nature of it, the sex, death, birth, taxes, the occult, a taboo issues in the world we can't really, um, you know, we can't escape or avoid. And as well as uh, other people's money, borrowing, loans, um, things like that. And I, I just, an inheritance that comes. So maybe I'm talking about like life insurance and things like that. I don't know. But I do see like someone is feeling unhopeful. Or this could, that's what I'm saying with this. Maybe just communicating about these type of things. Um, and maybe there's some type of understanding between it. There's new passion here because you have the Ace of Wands. Okay, wow. And the lovers in reverse. So over here, for some of you, wow, you could have had a lover. For some of you, you could be a widower or a widower. Okay. I have to say that. My condolences as well. And regardless of anybody you've lost, you know, maybe there's a little bit of an anniversary of it during this time. I personally have... My grandmother's is coming up. 11-26, Sag, is her uh, her anniversary of her death. But, um, or maybe this is even communicating about an ex-person. So now this doesn't have to be a, an actual death. This is just an ending as well. So take it out, resonates, guys. I do see there's new passion, though. Ace of Wands. Something's finally growing. Wow. Hmm. It's like they're stopping you. Like you're someone's seeing a whole different perspective uh, and understanding. This communication has opened up so much. Even 10, 12 Libra. So you do have that King of Swords. So it depends on who it is, right? 12, 7. I see 71 or 71 Cancer sign. Now, and 113 Capricorn. Huh. 13 even. All right. The lovers in reverse though. 16 Capricorn. Um, I just tell you what I see here. As well as 613 Geminis. Shows like there's an ending. There was an ending. Okay. With a love. Romance. And it shows. For some of you it's like. If you were married there was a divorce. Or if not, they just broke a, a commitment or a vow. Or your, your your beliefs and stuff just didn't line up, okay? They were very unoptimistic. Or maybe there, there literally could have been something in that they, they couldn't be healed. They could have got sick, you know? Okay? I see five of cups in reverse. So if there was grief regarding this and for some of you they might have been Aries or they might have been foolish now I see 50 they could have been 50 years old when this happened um 6 16 Gemini's and 6 5 they could have been 65 or 6 5 or 6 I'm getting Gemini energy as well this is overcoming grief maybe finding acceptance this King of Cups energy, being understanding, compassionate, loving, is probably going to help overcome this. I see the Fool. That's the final message. Is this new beginning? For some of you, you might be having a new beginning, feeling foolish. Like, some of you could have Aries rising or have Aries or Gemini in your chart even. There's also the Capricorn, Taurus energy, whoever. I'm seeing this whole new beginning, the fool, because there's been some completion or ending, right? Hmm. There's Virgo energy there too. So you can have Aries rising, Gemini moons. I, you don't have to, okay? I'm just, let's see. So this could be an Aries masculine, okay? 
I'm going to flow this through, guys. This is your first message. All right. Now, let's remember there was some addiction or something, right? And I'm going to put him here. So if this is an Aries person, maybe there's a lot of attraction um, or you're moving toward a new, a new person or this could have been an ex person and there still is. They're a go-getter, whatever, or this could represent you. But I'm seeing action being taken, even though it is taking things slow. Knight of Rings. He's looking back at the world. He's looking back at the end. Wow. So the the cycle's completed, and it, it's but he's still kind of looking back. Or you are still kind of looking back at this uh, King of Wands energy. Hmm. Or this could also be you, Sag, or a Leo. I don't see the Leo so much here, but take out resonates, right? Knight of Rings. That I'm assuming this is the slowest moving night. So this is probably the Knight of Pentacles. I love that the horses are on this. He's not in a rush. He's taking his time. And so even overcoming grief, this person is patient with you. They know that it's not a overnight thing you know that the emotions are like waves of the ocean and they come in and they also see that expressing that and having that compassion and and you know it, it shows how much you love and um that you care i mean the world is here i feel like like he's looking up at this 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 party there's a celebration because you have the world this ending to this new beginning the moon in reverse so the true emotions coming out at the full moon or at that moon energy. Whoa, okay. You could have an Aries moon is what it could be as well. The 21st is being spotlighted. That's the day I'm actually doing this one. Someone could be just 21 even, I don't know. 18. Hmm. One person be young, 18. Looking back when you were 18 or 21. Maybe you've known him since you were that long or you're only that age even. I see this is a new, a whole new world, a whole new cycle. Usually this is the completion. So we go from the beginning to the end. <laughs> All right. This moon in reverse is usually the true emotions coming forth. Right. Sometimes there is still some confusion. I haven't looked into what the moon cycle is going to be. The magician is upright. So take it slow, whatever it is you're trying to manifest. Maybe someone's just trying to overcome grief from a loss, whether it be just like an ending of a relationship or a literal death, okay? I, I, I'm seeing this as, as, as good though, right? You know, we, we reminisce about those things even, you know, especially even our birthdays. It's like we miss those people. For my birthday, it was tough. I had a shitty birthday, guys. I mean, no, my the people in my life were wonderful. I just um I don't know. Um I mean, I, my mom wasn't there. I don't know. I really connect a lot with my mom cuz she and it's not necessarily that I was like in a bad funk or depressed or anything. It was more like I just was emotional and I really just wasn't into uh hanging out with people because my mom who has passed comes through so strongly that it brings the emotions up forth you know okay I see take it slow with whatever it is that you're trying to create I mean you got the different wizards here I'm not paying attention to the characters so much I haven't watched the show for a while there's all the hobbits. There's the troll. <laughs> or the dwarf. The dwarf. Yeah, yeah. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I do see Knight of Cups in reverse with this person. So maybe you've never received an apology or careful if this person, because there's opportunity, you know, to to open the door and say happy birthday or because uh, Knight of Cups comes, comes off sometimes as love bombing and um, coming back around, but actually it's kind of an empty, there's no true emotion with it. Okay. 
or there's this or there's no apology it, someone feels just or you can just tell that there's no real love there will of fortune in reverse this person is in a, is a karmic person wow or maybe they're just thinking that the just timing was off like maybe they literally wish you happy birthday and it's not actually your birthday it's the wrong time i don't know um i'm also seeing potentially libra 10 let's see 15 16, 10 18 hmm. and 10 21 or they just forget your birthday altogether. Or they've never wished you a happy birthday. I don't know. I'm just seeing stuff like that. Will of Fortune is in reverse, though. Ooh. Because this person has backstabbed and betrayed you. And you're done. Like, because Ten of Swords. This person is maybe getting karma. Or feeling it. So keep that in mind. If someone has really betrayed you, talked bad, maybe you find out about something. Or they're trying to come back around. Because look at this. This is all. Someone was trying to manifest maybe an apology or trying to come back around, be all loving. Ooh, even if we're a queen of wands code, that could be you, Sag, feminines, uh, you know, or... Aries Leo, I, I love that both of your cards are in the upright. I'm happy to see Queen of Wands upright. Because you all know what I say about her when I see her upside down. <laughs> oh, man. I Sometimes I just got to have fun with it. But no way. We got 10-10 and 10-1. Okay. This person betrayed. I think someone, the magician was trying to like, oh, this is interesting. So maybe even reflecting on the someone from your past, though, but then you got to remember this person, I mean, they backstabbed you. They betrayed you. And they're maybe coming in to try and apologize and smooth things over with you. Hmm. That's an odd thing. Or maybe it is trying to see if there is, like, the timing's off. I just keep saying something like that. You know, it was kind of weird for a mind. Like, we're talking about birthdays, so I'm just sharing it. But it was interesting to see the certain people that did, uh, you know, remember and message. And I had a lot of people in my family that didn't at all. Um, but that's what it is. Um, and then, you know, especially our social networking and things like that. Hmm. 110 Capricorn and 1010 Libra. Yeah. All right. So let's move on to this. Let's see what else is under here. Okay. Especially for you, Queen of Wandsies. Okay. Feminines. But this could also be if you're dealing with another Sag or a Leo Aries energy because Aries was there too. Feminine. She is beautiful. This is the way you're seen, even. Um, very beautiful very charismatic classy not trashy a go-getter you shine people are admire they admire you and you're not you're not even trying you know to get the attention you just get it by just being yourself and not um you know look she's like i love she's like fully covered here she not being out there she ain't gonna <laughs> sorry i like this energy Okay, we have Knight of Wands. So this is that passionate energy wanting to come in quickly. So you could also have a, another Queen of Wands trying to come in for you. It depends on who you are. Aries, Leo, Sag, right? Um, this is quick action. This person might be very, they could be very young energy, but this is like, sometimes this is the player energy. We'll see. Five, six, seven, eight. Ooh, eight of, eight of. This person might be somebody that you've worked with or this person does not have a job. So this person betrayed you about work or someone from your work betrayed you. That's how I'm seeing as well. And there's the three of swords. So someone feels heartbroken. They were a third party. 10-8. 3-A. They could be 30-A or Pisces or Libra. So 
someone wasn't willing to work is like, or maybe someone betrayed you and didn't give you a, a, your paycheck or something even, or this person does not have a job. They got fired or someone got you fired even or something. This is, I'm just seeing this betrayer have something to do with your work. Huh? And being a third party. So I am seeing if someone's feeling heartbroken over something and I saw that there and that's clearly not for everyone. Right? So maybe this one isn't for you guys, Sag, right? You know, you can still appreciate the story and understand it. The love story here. The betrayal. I mean, <laughs> and things like that even. Um, but, you know, if this one isn't for you, then definitely look into the other videos for your birthday messages. Um, I didn't know I was going to do this for so long. But you guys get bonuses. It's 50 minutes in already. I'm going to go quicker. So I see the Three of Swords. Someone feeling heartbroken. Queen of Swords is upright, though. So feminine energy. Also, maybe you've turned this turned you into a little Queens of Swords energy. or But both of them upright. So I'm trying to think things through logically and communicate tactfully, analytically, right? Um, about maybe someone being a, a player or a third party. I just saw that one that was like weird love bombing, right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Or even communicating about heartbreak. Or for some of you, it could have been somebody that, that, that had heart issues, all right? Or you're heartbroken over it because they're maybe these are the things that ended this relationship. Maybe they were, you know, they broke a commitment, a contract, a vow. Maybe they, they were messing with a third party. All right. We also have Nine of Swords. So this communication coming in, maybe even someone who got fired, maybe they're messing around with something. 38 again it's very specific so this person could be 38 or you are or when you were 38 and if you're not that age maybe it's a pisces okay i see knight of swords coming in quickly oh the sun in reverse yeah so for some of you like i said this could be a leo person um that you're dealing with that maybe was a third party or not necessarily but or you could feel heartbroken this heartbreak, now there's sadness. I mean, not just sadness, but this person is unhappy. Okay? Unhappy. 319. I'm getting a lot of Pisces in, too. So a Pisces or a Leo person, potentially. Or being 19. See? Unhappy. Page of Rings. Wow, about a gift. Maybe this person is, you know, this Queen of Swords is communicating it, about it, um, about receiving something. This is the Page of Rings. There's there could be children involved, or some of you know. I mean, that's so interesting. This person could be acting. This person could be a child um, that feels heartbroken over this. Because this Page of Rings. Hmm. This is like a tiny little gift, something that they made. It's not, they don't have a lot to give. Hmm. But I'm feeling like someone, they feel heartbroken about something. Five of Swords in reverse. So the communication that's coming through is, is going to be, a, it's, they're not going to try and argue with you. Or one up you or gaslight you or deceive. I, I see like, it's like turning around and like not doing that. So especially for your birthday, right? <laughs> no longer allowing this person who betrayed you to lie to your face or deceive you or gaslight you or no longer arguing with this person. I think that's what the communication is like saying. Just like stop talking to them. This person is not a single person or they're not financially stable on their own. Look how weird the nine of rings is. Look at all these rings. Maybe you're going to be getting rings. You guys love rings. This one's broken. It came in reverse. So I feel like even this person who is unhappy is financially codependent. Um, or this person isn't single. And that that's maybe that's the whole thing. They're, they were with someone already or they're financially codependent. I'm getting Virgo energy now too, as well as this Leo 918, 95. 
Page of Wands coming in. This is learning something new. A lot of the children energy in the center. So new inspiration, taking your time, making so it, it, maybe it's about creating or making rings. I don't even know uh, something like that. But um, this is still feeling like a novice at it, like not all, all knowing still, but there's ambition to learn and to then put it into action and do it. Judgment in reverse over here with this person. Uh, yeah, they've been found guilty. This is an ending with this person. They backstabbed you, betrayed you, gaslighted you, argue with you. 10-10, mm. 5-10, 9-20. Virgo. 25, 2005. Also got 2-20. I'm seeing this that someone was at a crossroads of what to do. They were they were going to come in or do something, but this is pausing. Oh, because there's remembrance of bad memories of childhood. So this could be somebody that you've known for a long time, trying to come back around. Maybe you grew up with them. Uh, maybe they're a sibling. I don't know. But this is our, or they're a karmic from your past life. Maybe they're triggering something. Even if they're in it. You know, someone you didn't know for a long time since you've grown up. It's just you recognize that maybe they are a karmic past life person. But these are bad memories of, of doing things. I feel like you you might, if there is any legal stuff or that someone like does go to jail or there's judgment, you're going to be receiving a big payout. And maybe it had to do with like an ending or death benefits or a divorce. Okay, that's for some, right? I also see 25 again. I feel like maybe someone was only 25 or 25 Aquarius. Oh, excuse me, 26. Or this is even back when you're 16. There's bad memories of these, these mugs. Hmm. I feel like this could also be someone really wanting to learn uh, about, you know, past life regression and PTSD and stuff like that and trauma, childhood trauma or uh, things like that. Um, but maybe the, some action started to be happening and then the memories came back, right? And um, so there needs to be some healing Wow, 620 and 25, okay? Ace of Rings is this gift, right? A new begin financial. Maybe you're going to receive a big financial gift, right? This is a payout. Maybe this is a loan even. I don't know. I'm just seeing this judgment. Someone else is found guilty for doing something wrong, for reals, for reals. Even though there were swords in a rose, clarity, truth, revelation, honor, and protection, you're protected. Your determination, right? I want to look at all these. This King of Cups even. See, someone was coming out of regret, apathy, boredom, and oh, from a divorce or from breaking a commitment, a vow, a law, okay? Um, or even leaving a spiritual belief behind, okay? Yeah, someone lost hope. They feel unoptimistic that things can be healed. This is recognizing that that's over, right? Like, yeah. And and there's no reason to feel sad about it. I'm, I'm seeing that, you know, this is overcoming any sense of depression, taking things slow as you move forward. Someone is bringing you a, a, a really nice gift. They're coming in. They might be late for the party, but they're taking their time creating something beautiful, remembering you, remembering you know, looking back at things from the past so that to see who you like, what you liked or things like that. I don't know. <laughs> okay. But I, I just keep seeing though that this person, I feel like someone might have manifested a betrayal or an ending. They wanted things to end. I, I see this Potentially, it was revealing a betrayer to you, okay? This is the magician energy. I see 110. It could have been a Capricorn. I don't know. Or Capricorn is revealing it to you. Gemini, Capricorn. Um, yeah. And then maybe even Libra season or a Libra. 10-8. Betrayal. 
betrayed you? Is there something about your work, once again, or taking money, taking, not paying you? Literally, this could be about someone not paying someone their, their wages, okay? Um, and lying about stuff. The communication coming forth, it, this person who's going to tell you something, maybe they are also from your work or they quit that job or the same thing happened to them. And then uh, that's the final judgment on this. Also 520, 820. And then you're, you're receiving. So I'm just seeing the judgment is someone is found guilty for doing something and you're going to get a big bonus or a really big gift, big payout. All right, page of cups in reverse. Someone you could see that someone was very acting like a spoiled brat, unapologetic, unloving. So it stopped you in your tracks, and you started remembering. They they're, they're triggers something, or they're acting something that happened as a child. High priestess, upright, intuitively senses this and knows. Maybe you've had communications with this person about some of the stuff. You know, this is even talking about your childhood or bad memories, uh, things that had happened, right? Addiction even, remember that was there, right? Codependency, controlling, possession. Uh, this person, you or them, is also keeping things very, you know, they're not sharing your personal information. They're a listener. High Priestess is a listener, all right? She shares what needs to be shared, but she's not going to go tell everybody, and Maybe you you can intuitively sense it even um, about these things. You know, being able to even intuitively see a karmic pattern or uh, some type of like, you know, childhood woundings. Yeah, and losing a soulmate. So there is one soulmate that there's a sense of emptiness and loss. <sighs> But you're receiving money from it. Maybe they feel like they're a child or this happened. It was a child or this happened uh, when you were children. But I see new love coming in. This looks like Groot to me, but it's not. In Gardens of the Galaxy, this is the trees. I love that that's the trees. Ace of Cups. Look at the green eyes. Green. I see like green, brown, hazel. The pine trees, ace of cups. So new love coming in, reinvigorating love. Temperance is your card and high priestess. This is balancing life and spirituality, staying very balanced, not overdoing it, keeping your life in balance, right? So even though you've been through things or another person, whoever it is, uh, there's a lot of talking communication that's what I'm saying like that's even really helping you you know or vice versa the communication goes both ways one you know listening and then responding and an understanding and um healing or it comes from both look it's like they're the same these are the elfins mmm the elfins, the elven, elv, elvins, lovely, beautiful. This is Pisces and, and, uh, you know, Sag energy, but I see a little Aquarius with this too. Let me see. 214, Valentine's Day. Wow. And 2-2. Two, two. Aquarius or being 22 being young all right I'm seeing someone feels though like they can't quite move on yet maybe that's the whole thing there's still some some thoughts you know about this that are about a feeling empty or a loss of a soulmate someone you considered a soulmate hmm 26, 2, 6. They could have been Aquarius or they could have been 26. I'm seeing Ace of Cups, new love coming in. It's going to help with healing and letting you rest, get rejuvenated, uh, working on self-love or new love even. But it's a time of healing that healing love energy. 
Hmm. With this person. Seven of Cups in reverse. So getting clarity. Getting your life in balance. No more looking at all the options wondering. I see 47. Let's see. 414. Some of you it's an Aries person or someone who's 47. There's also a Cancer sign. Uh, 74, 4th of July, right? Or 74 and 7-3. Hmm, for some of you, it could be a grandfather. But I also see, you know, this is also no longer, so there were seven options, right? And picking this one right here, probably. The rest of these, right? And knowing, this is knowing exactly your Ace of Cups. Look, and there's this soulmate energy right here. In this one person. Some of you, maybe it's another Sag even. Right? Or Aries. Cancer sign. Or you can have this in your chart. Three of Wands. There is this stuck feeling though. Of some of the thoughts. And that's why there needs to be some rest. Or some healing work done. Okay? Whatever you need to do. To get this clarity. To feel rejuvenated to do this healing work the three of wands so there's a pausing waiting for usually this is like waiting for your ships to come in you know if you've done your part and now working together collaborating yeah there's a pause there's a stuckness i feel like that's this came through before like i did the labyrinth uh uh, the temperance energy there which is represents your energy and there was a sense of not wanting to travel not wanting to go anywhere feeling like you need to just kind of chill and hang out it was pretty good guys it was pretty good if you're drawn into that if you not watch that one okay because uh, i'm kind of seeing a little bit of the same message now, whether this is with a cancer sign, I don't know. Or you have this in your chart. Because now we've got a lot of cancer signs. 77 and 73. Yeah, this is it's getting clarity on your home. Someone wants to stay home. And do the work around the home. Do the healing at home even. Wow, maybe they wanted to stay home. That's the clarity. Home is where the heart is. This is the four of wands. Oh, so over here where someone was waiting to hear maybe about a job or a legacy property land it feels like there's been a big financial loss this person maybe you get like a big i don't know i'm telling you that someone gets like let go because they're they could gain trouble and go to jail even i don't know um I, I, there was the seduction right temptation Ooh, strength in reverse someone did not have they couldn't hold themselves back from something uh-oh 10-8, again, maybe Libra energy, 10-3. Something could have happened during that time in uh, October. We're dealing with the Libra. I also see Leo energy, 8-10, 8-3. Wow. Hmm. Wow, Okay. And then we have the strength in reverse. So I just see this is also feeling weak. Like someone just feels like they need to, you know, do some resting and healing. Um, gain their strength. Stay at home. Focus on your home. The empress. Okay, yeah. The feminine, the wife, the mother, the matriarch, whoever this is in your life, you or them. Whoa, did you guys hear that? The candle bubbled. It bubbled, dude. Empress is upright. Holding down the fort, staying at home. Doing all the work around the house. Maybe even working from home. That's what, I mean, sometimes I see that. that Empress is compassionate. They're a leader. They have a nice home. I have a family. You know, they have shit to take care of. The boss lady. I've seen this person even work from home. Because they need to stay home. <laughs> and do the rest. All right, I'm going to flow through this quickly. All right, someone's understanding about feeling a loss of like a property, a legacy, inheritance, maybe feeling like you didn't get exactly what you, uh, or letting go. Someone betrayed you with something there. Feels like. Uh, King of Cups, upright. 
So dealing with the water energy, being very loving, understanding, compassionate. That this person, maybe someone was fighting. Someone, ooh. For some of you, someone feels weak because someone was fighting them or trying to compete with them. There could have been physical altercations with someone. But Empress is having victory over this. And then maybe they're a Taurus. 53, 53, or 56. Because I'm seeing being victorious. It's like somebody wanted to compete and fight and win. Maybe this is even a healthy competition. I don't know, you know. But someone else like feels weak because they lost. Or, or they're feeling like they can't hold themselves back and they have this energy of wanting to fight. Like we're in competition to win. Because you got, you know. Look, this one feels like there's not much. But look how much more organized this one is. That's how you have the victory. All right, we have King of Rings. So this is even Capricorn. That's a Taurus energy. So you're dealing with them even. Or you can have this in your chart. Masculine. I'm going to flow through the whole deck for you guys. Beautiful. Um... To let you get a sneak peek of it as well. So this is being really wise financially. And abundant. And very generous. Giving. Giving good advice. And love. Compassion. How to be victorious is being generous and compassionate. Alright. And even needing to block or defend. So block yourself or defend yourself from this person who wants to fight you. Or compete. Or this person is uh, defending or blocking because someone else needs to rest. I also see being protected or blocked even by a cancer sign, maybe. 7, 6, 76, or someone born in 76, or that could be someone's age, right? The Queen of Rings. Okay, lovely. King and King. King and Queen. Masculine and feminine. Look, she's got a beautiful wreath. She's creating a beautiful, lovely, you know. Same thing. Beautiful home, stability, uh, luxury, f taking action, feeling victorious, feeling good, finance, especially in life, you know, uh, like with the just happy, like having a lot of nice, beautiful things and also understanding being generous and giving. Yeah, the communication coming in quickly. This is someone taking action. See, I saw someone say that this one was a scary card, that it meant someone was, like, coming in, like, so you're blocking or defending, and then this person's still going to try and come forth. I feel like this is also someone coming over to see you, probably for your birthday or something, right? Bring you something. This is very action-oriented. This King of Rings. Wow, we're going kind of right in flow now. I got all the wands in this energy, which is interesting. Yeah, then we have the Chiron energy. Eight, nine. So I might not have shuffled good enough. I don't know. <laughs> uh, this person is not being able to let go of you emotionally, even. So this could also be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, feminine or masculine. Doesn't have to be. Just somebody has a, a lot of nice wealth or they're wise with it. Um. Hmm. And uh, I also see putting up high defenses. Maybe you are protected, double protection, because nine of wands is also high defense. Okay. Like even there's other people coming in protecting you. This is someone having a fence, weapons if need be. They feel protected. You are protected. You're maybe you know how to defend yourself. Seven nine. Eight, nine, Leo, Cancer sign, 79, 89, I don't know. I also have 98. Um, yeah, double time, 98 and 88. Eight. So this person seems like they cannot let go of some emotions. They feel like something wasn't fair with the justice system. Ooh, the devil. So whoever is this person, it, it might have something to do with some legal stuff or whatever. Okay, uh... Or that judgment call, someone being found guilty. That's the way I see that. Maybe someone was being overjudgmental. 
I feel like you're gonna get in communication of someone is like feeling like this is not fair, right? You have the devil upright. This is someone trying to control something. They have addiction potentially. They're trying to control. This is temptation. Someone is defending or blocking someone from the devil, <laughs> okay? From this obsession, from possession, controlling, addiction. Hmm. This also represents Capricorn. I see Capricorn and Libra energy. I see Scorpio. There's Virgo. 98, 1, 5, 15, 8, 15, Leo. Wow. And then we have 16, right in flow. So then the tower comes in. All right? Because this person is like trying to come in and like physically harm you or compete with you or fight with you. Hmm. I see it as you, you also like, if your defenses are down or someone is feeling a little weak or something, or you sense that you need to go a little bit more on defense, high defense blocking, getting your stuff. It's because there is some type of entity or energy or human trying to come in and control you, control your emotions. Um, there's the tower moment is the finger of God crumbling. This all crumbled because of some type of toxic obsession, right? And then we have nine of cups in reverse. So someone did not get what they were wishing for or hoping for, right? They feel like something's not fair with this justice system or the <laughs> justice. Whoa. Not getting what someone was wishing for. They, ooh, seven of swords upright. Or excuse me, upside down. So somebody that was stealing or a liar or a thief, you know, addictions and weird stuff like that can make people be a liar, a thief, and an addict, right? Or this is someone just trying to control someone or something. But it's found out that uh, the truth has come forth. And cancer sign potentially even 715, 716. Seven, nine, I'm seeing the seven of swords in reverse. So they're not getting, they, they got caught. So they're having a temper tantrum. They got caught doing sneaky shit, either cheating, stealing from the job, lying, drugs or something. They broke a law. They broke a vow or a connection or a commitment. And then shit hit the fan. Because at one point they thought they were getting away with something. But then the truth came to light. Ten of Wands. And that left someone feeling like they had to do it all on their own. It was a heavy burden. Seven, ten. Ten, nine. Well, we do have the Emperor upright. So the masculine. Okay. Husband. Grandfather. Father. Whoever. Masculine boss. Up giving guidance and strength. He's up doing a lot, knowing how to multitask even. I'm also seeing, uh, this is also, someone was, I feel like someone was stealing someone's ring. What? Someone tried to steal someone's ring? I'm pretty sure it was a cancer sign, Sag. I'm just kidding, I don't know. Um, nah. Or your grandmother's ring or your mother's ring or something like that. I don't know, cancer sign. I don't know, Sag. <laughs> I just see I, I, 27. And they were 27. Maybe they're in Aquarius or 7, 10, 23. I just see like this is usually making a choice about it. No longer juggling. Hmm. Hmm. And then we've got also three of pentacles in reverse. So knowing you can't collaborate and work with this person because you find out that they are a thief and a liar. Hmm. And most likely, and they might have accused you. They, there's often a switch bait. They could be an Aquarius. They're just young. I'm also seeing 34. A Pisces or 23. 
What? All these rings now. Hmm. I'm seeing someone gave something. You, all these are in reverse now. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, see, I didn't shuffle these well enough as well. Are we going to go? Yeah, this is all my fault too. <laughs> so keep that in mind, guys. We're just kind of looking through this. want to see what the spider is. Ooh, I don't know what that one is. Eight of claws or something. What? Ace of swords in reverse. Someone does not know the truth about something. Hmm. Someone's watching them. Okay. I feel like someone gave someone else something. Or maybe someone overspent. Someone's trying to come back around from overspending. Uh, get some money back. Um, so I'm trying to come back around from out in the cold. Even though you can't work with this person because things are not fair in the give and take. Like they can't, they're not going to put in as much money or effort in some creative thing. It's never been fair and balanced in the give and take with this person. I don't know what this eight is. Is this the strength card? Five, six, seven, eight. I'm not sure what that one is, but it's in reverse. It's like the spider, eight eyes. 84. Someone doesn't have clarity or know the truth on this. This is trying to overcome anxiety, sleepless nights, and fear. You have this person is watching you with all eight eyes, like a spider. Trying to gain information. Because someone doesn't have clarity about something. Queen of Cups upright. So I see this person trying to be loving, compassionate, understanding, right? Even though they don't know everything. So when a, it's like someone's kept some stuff secret about themselves. All right. We have the Hermit in reverse, which means also like to get out from feeling stuck in, in the house. You know, nine nine Virgo. Ooh, what is this? Two of Swords. So someone is in two minds trying to make a decision, and maybe that's why they're even watching you or oh, about about if there could be a party or a celebrate. They look looking to see if you're celebrating for your birthday or if they there's a reconciliation with someone. But I'm seeing it's a no. I I think you probably like yeah. I'm seeing no reconciliation. And someone understands completely why. Wow. Okay. That was fascinating, guys. That was your first birthday message. Um, wow. So that was interesting. Clearly not for everyone. Hopefully that gave you some understanding and guidance. Let's let's get a few messages to finish off. What are we at on time? 122. Okay. Uh, bring the camera up. Right, there was seduction, attraction, teasing, hooking up, date, third party, temptation. That could have, that's what. Uh, created some heartbreak okay something like that and no way i open up to passion again insane chemistry sparks having fun equal interest burning desire um i'm just saying like the final decision is like not to reconcile with this person or not to celebrate even not to go to the party or something or whoever is looking in watching you to see if, it, you know, it's, it's a kind of, it's a no. Because <laughs> this person is a backstabbing betrayer over here. They, you've already made a judgment call, it looks like to me. Um, you know, they still think things aren't fair. They, they are still not taking, I mean, dude, the thief and the liar thinks that it's not fair. Okay, of course they do. All right, so any other messages from loving messages cards for the Sagittarius for their birthday messages? Let's just get a few more. Lightning, look, shock, sudden change, shocking news, surprises, epiphany, and transformation. You're going to get a shock. Shocking. This is Aquarian energy. A picture. Looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. They're watching you make new memories. They're looking at pictures of you. They could be a Virgo. Karmic relationship. Resentments, triggers, perception, intensity. Letting go. Turmoil and fleeting. Wow. 
This is why, yeah, no reunion, no reconciliation, no celebrating, not coming to the party. The final message is death. Damn. The relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform. What's dead is dead. Dude, this looks like the catacombs. Mm, last time I was at this uh, place, I see rot. Like, they're thinking, like, rot in hell. Wow. Some of you, it's a Scorpio. It doesn't have to be an Aquarius. Um, a karmic relationship. Wow. So, how interesting is that, guys? So, after all of that, right? So, I showed you the good stuff, right? And so, there is whatever we were seeing there was really showing, uh, you know, an ex-person, a karmic relationship, ship ship <laughs> maybe that's someone's name cutting ties moving on receive what you need progressions and arriving the ship is coming in the ship is sailing here this is so weird so a paris is here they're watching and then the catacombs okay um they're watching you like not be a hermit staying at home and going and exploring and doing things um what else is here? Pony Brown, Always Smile, Best Witches, Traveling Around. Looks like the Colosseum in Rome. We got Paris. Wow. I brought this up last time. So Capricorn, Taurus, Sag, um, Scorpio, of course. I'm trying to think when I brought this, when I was doing this. Is it July? August. Leo Virgo. Wow. Okay. So hopefully that was some clear messages. Okay, Sagittarius is this is the end of your first uh birthday bonus message. Um the description box is where I will link in part two as well as part three. This was once again the Lord of the Rings and with the airwalker and the hat. Okay. Um wow, if you were drawn into those ones. And uh, number two is going to be the dragon oracles. I'm afraid you've got dragons and cosmic insight. And I'm just doing this so you can see in case. And, and if you like the air walk, the little slides here. Okay. <laughs> Those were your, your, your bonus. Um, okay. So we will be unveiling opening that next for your birthdays. Thank you, Sagittarius. Bye-bye.